All I want to say is thanks to the Reagan Library for doing this. My parents would be incredibly proud if they were both with us today. And I'm hoping that thousands and thousands of people over the next year when this exhibition uh, takes shape will have an opportunity to see and hear these stories. Uh, my parents were both survivors of the Holocaust and that's why I'm here today. My father was born in Germany in Danzig, which is now Poland. My mother was born in Berlin. They met in Berlin as very young kids. They married when she was 16. She immediately got pregnant with my sister and then they had to escape. And after the war, my father laid eyes on his daughter for the first time when she was seven years old. When John Highbush presented the exhibition to me, I was immediately drawn to its importance. I hear people constantly denying the Holocaust. I hear them say things about the Holocaust, which tells me they really don't understand what happened. And I said, if I'm going to give charitable dollars, what better place can I put those dollars than an exhibition that will educate both young children uh, about what really happened, who have no connection to this whatsoever, and also educate those who possibly are deniers or simply ignorant. And maybe after seeing these objects and hearing the stories, they might shift their view. What you would hope is that it would resonate with ordinary people because Hitler could not do what he did without the help of just the ordinary citizenry who actually ran the machine of the war and ran the machine of the death camps. These weren't true believer Nazis that killed the Jews. Those were the people that were in charge, but the people who carried out the tasks, who transported the Jews, who put them to death, who watched them in the camps. These were your neighbor, these were your cousin. And so what it showed was that even ordinary citizens who were going about their normal lives were somehow conscripted into this twisted horror by a leader. And it really makes people think when they hear rhetoric from some of our leaders as to what they should be thinking or doing, that they'll reflect back on the Holocaust and say, I'm not going down that road again. I hope the public learns that good people can do terrible things. And no matter how ignorant we are about a different culture, a different race, a different religion, violence is never the answer.